Guam Delegate Madeline Berdalio says it's unfair to state the reduction in scope of the military buildup is result of one group or person raising their concerns and voicing their opinions on the buildup. Her statement follows a copy of an email received by local lawmakers in their inbox Tuesday. The email was written by John Jackson in February. He is the former head of the Joint Guam Program Office. Jackson implied that Washington's support of the buildup began shifting after Senate Armed Services Chairman Carl Levin and committee member Jim Webb visited Guam last spring. Jackson blamed who he called the Fab Five as haranguing the two U.S. senators during a meeting at the legislature. The five senators he identified were Senators Rory Respicio, Speaker Judy Wanpat, Judy Guthards, Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz, and Ben Pangilinan. Like the Democrats, Minority Leader Frank Bloss Jr. refutes Jackson's comments, as reported the former so Jigpo head wasn't even at the meeting. I, I think that there were people that, that misconstrued or, or, or took, you know, the questions and the concerns differently mm. than, than, than what was actually being proposed, what was actually uh, as part of the discussion. It was uh, the body being concerned that uh, the, the cost of the buildup does not fall entirely on the people of Guam. Colonel Jackson doesn't live on Guam, so he wouldn't have to deal with any of those problems. The Fab Five and their colleagues aren't the only ones taking offense to Jackson's comments. The former Jigpo head in his email also took aim at those involved with the pocket controversy. Jackson stating the We Are Guahan types hijacked the buildup for their own special purposes. I understand that he probably at this point is a defense contractor, so he has a lot to gain. Um, and, you know, when he talks about special interests, it goes both ways. As he reported, We Are Guahan took the Department of Defense to court over Pocket and DOD's failure to follow the EIS process. The lawsuit has resulted in DOD conducting a supplemental environmental impact statement. If they want to blame us for ensuring that DOD follow the law, by all means, go ahead.